right, guys. Just finished editing the first video of Tale of the Tale of the Dragon trip. As you guys already watched that already, if you haven't, check it out. I'll put the link in the description. It was an awesome trip, and uh, day two should be coming shortly. So yeah. All right, guys. So as you just saw, um, uploading a video right now, and now I can start today's video. And uh, today we're back to our normal schedule video until I upload the next Tale of the Dragon video, which will be after this video. But um. Yeah, I want to give you an update on the Miata, the Miata motor, and to work on my Supermoto because I beat the hell out of it. Give you a sneak preview of the next video, maybe, and uh, just all around random garage, random vlog video. So, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, here is my engine block. Here is my head. Here is my crank. <laughs> As you guys can see, you can't see them. <laughs> it's because I wrapped up in plastic bags and I don't want them to rust. So, I will show you guys them eventually. All right guys, so back in my garage and uh, quick update or spoiler alert, uh, you'll find out in the, tale, in the second Tale of the Dragon video, um, Friday night I basically broke my iPhone, or Saturday morning, I basically woke up to it broken. Uh, my tent was perfectly dry when I went to bed and when I woke up I was laying in a puddle of water about 4 in the morning and my iPhone 6 was underwater. So that sucked. Um, I didn't have a phone until Monday or Sunday night when I got back to Orlando. I went and picked up a new phone and I got the new iPhone 7. And it's just the 128 gig black one and I have it in an OtterBox case now. <laughs> I never used the case before, but uh, now I'm using one. And the OtterBox case is not waterproof, but the iPhone 7 is waterproof or water resistant. So hopefully I can, not, I can go at least maybe a year without breaking this phone. I break a lot of phones. But yeah, so iPhone 7 is fucking awesome. If you guys want to hear more about it, let me know. I can talk about it. But um, I'm a big iPhone person, and I love the iPhone 7. It's probably the best phone they've ever came out with. So pretty happy about that. Shout out to Apple. So the second day of the Tale of the Dragon was the most fun of the most fun day of the entire trip. And basically that day was when me and my bike took the most beating it's we've ever taken riding. Um, spoiler alert, I fell off the cliff. Where basically I crashed and my bike went about 35 feet. Sorry, lawn mower. Bike went about 35 feet off the cliff, and you guys will see more about that in the next video. So if you want to see my bike literally go off a cliff. Stay tuned for the next video, it's gonna be awesome. But basically the bike ran fine, bike ran for eight hours after I crashed, and zero problems, on files in full gear, full track suit. So you guys will see more about that in the next video, but I really need to do some maintenance on my bike. It literally took a huge beating, so I wanna do a couple oil changes on the bike today, and clean up this garage, because it's a mess. Like we have bags of tools and like, camping gear and like all this shit all over the garage that we unpacked Sunday night when we got back and I really need to clean it. So let me clean the garage real quick. Nothing is more relaxing than having all your sockets back in order. Except I'm missing a 16. Fuck. I swear, every time I film a vlog, I'm always getting pollo chop a cow for dinner. I swear I don't eat it that much. It's just a weird coincidence. Hi, my name is Mercedes. What pollo chop a cow may help you today? Yes, hi. Can I get a Chipotle chicken sandwich with no lettuce? And can I get the combo with waffle fries and a Powerade? 16 kilos one, no. Thank you. All right, guys, so it's day two. I didn't really get anything done yesterday. I just edited the video and hung out with the girlfriend. So today I'm actually gonna work on the bike, clean the garage, maybe do something with the Miata. So let's get started with that. Oh, yeah, and uh, a couple of videos ago, my buddy uh, Marcus, who I went flying with, he actually just got a brand new bike and he should be coming over today. It's a pretty dope bike, so if he comes over, I'll definitely show you guys that. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm about to train to do an oil change on this bike right now, because it definitely hits an oil change and a tranny flush. Set. Yeah. My buddy Marcus here with his brand new bike. Let's take a look at it. 
It's dope. <laughs> Look at this guy. Back in the bike game. God, that color's sick. It finally matches. Yep. You finally have gear that matches. <laughs> Good. Where'd you steal that from? Thanks, fucking dope. 2016, right? Yep. Wow. Damn. Wow, that's clean. Happy you got it? Oh, yeah. I feel like I got some, so some, I think some credit for persuading you to get this oh, one. Oh, no, absolutely. 100%. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> says the nine's the best one. Dope. Oh, my God. That thing is hideous. Oh, oh my God. gosh. I know. It's just. <laughs> Stop. Just blur it out. That's awesome. Alright guys, just did an oil change on the bike and about to take a roll of test ride and go ride with Marcus and his brand new FZ09. Should be pretty dope. Sorry I didn't film any of the oil change, but you guys know what that is about. And I'm bringing my GoPro. Stay camera. I'm bringing my GoPro and it should pick up sound. It picked up sound at Tennessee. So hopefully I can record some audio. If not, I apologize. Of course, my GoPro does not record audio through the microphone. And the reason why I recorded audio in my last video in Tennessee is because I was using my roommate's GoPro on my helmet and my GoPro is a second angle. And it looks to be that my um, microphone jack on the GoPro is broken and will not record audio through a microphone. It records audio outside, but not through the microphone. So I apologize, now I need to buy a new GoPro. Maybe the Hero 5. I don't know, just kidding. But um, the other supermoto you guys saw in this video was my buddy's Honda CRF 450X, not an R, so it has electric start. And it's like an 06 maybe, 07, I forget the year, but the bike has been built to shit. It's bored and stroked, and it's basically a 511cc CRF. It's, it's pretty fucking fast. It's a nice bike, really well built, and it's got a lot of nice parts on it. And we raced twice that day, um, and I beat him both times. So my Supermoto is still undefeated by racing other Supermotos. Not all bikes, but just Supermotos. So if you guys think you have a Supermoto faster than my bike, let's race. I'm down. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, see you guys on the next one. So comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always down to respond to you guys, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Later.